this mass is offered for the soul of Trilby Fernandez, month's mind mass, for the soul of Dominic Fonseca, month's mind mass, for the soul of Orlando Dias, month's mind mass, for the soul of Venezia de Souza, first death anniversary, for the soul of Joseph Mascarinus, first death anniversary, and also for the soul of June Rodericks, an elder cousin of Father Harry who passed away yesterday. Twenty-second Sunday in Ordinary Time God our Father has promised eternal life to all those who do His will and obey His commandments. Our Lord invites each one of us to be ever faithful to our commitment to be His disciple. At this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray for the grace to be attentive and pay heed to God's voice speaking to us, thus becoming His true disciples. This Mass is also offered for all the other box intention Masses. Let us rise and welcome the celebrant by singing hymn number 203, If You Wish to Be My Disciple. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. The foxes have their holes, the birds their nests, but I have not a place to take my rest. If you wish to be my disciple, take up your cross and follow me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate this Eucharist, let us humbly call to mind our sins and ask God and each other for forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us sing Gloria. Glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, 
on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen, Amen, Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your will and of your way so that by deepening our sense of discernment you may nurture in us all that is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the prophet Jeremiah You have seduced me, Lord, and I have let myself be seduced. You have opened me, you are the stronger. I am a daily laughing stock, everybody's butt. Each time I speak the word, I have to howl and proclaim violence and ruin. The word of the Lord has meant for me insult, derision. All day long, I used to say, I will not think about him. I will not speak in his name anymore. Then there seemed to be a fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. The effort to restrain it wearied me. I could not bear it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm will be, O Lord my God, for you my soul is thirsting. Kindly listen to the tune. O Lord my God, for you my soul is thirsting. Together. O Lord my God, for you my soul is thirsting. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. Our response, O oh Lord my God, for you my soul is thirsting. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. Our response. O Lord my God, for you my soul is thirsting. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Think of God's mercy, my brothers, and worship him, I beg you, in the way that is worthy of thinking beings, by offering your living bodies as a holy sacrifice, truly pleasing to God. Do not model yourselves on the behavior of the world around you, but let your behavior change, modeled by your new mind. This is the only way to discover the will of God and know what is good what it is that God wants, what is the perfect thing to do. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Kindly rise for the gospel.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind. so that we can see what hope his call holds for us together alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to make clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and the chief priests and scribes to be put to death. and be raised up on the third day then taking him aside peter started to remonstrate with him heaven preserve you lord he said this must not happen to you but he turned and said to peter get behind me satan you are an obstacle in my path because the way you think is not god's way but man's then jesus said to his disciples if any one wants to be a follower of mine let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me for any one who wants to save his life will lose it but any one who loses his life for my sake will find it what then will a man gain if he wins the whole world and ruins his life or what has a man to offer in exchange for his life for the son of man is going to come in the glory of his father with his angels and when he does he will reward each one according to his behavior the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ what is god's will for me what is the way forward for me quite often people ask this question today even as jeremiah in the first reading taken from chapter 20 of his book faced as a question in his life when he was going through a very difficult phase this chapter in the book is an oracle of prayer and of questioning to god when jeremiah has been told by the priest pashur of the temple do not prophesy here go somewhere else and you are prophesying against the king and this house so the one who was in religious authority at that time the priest as well as the king were not in favor of what jeremiah was preaching and jeremiah thought but this is what god has appointed me to preach he has told me to warn the people about the dangers in their life by saying you are going to face violence and destruction in hebrew the two words that jeremiah used very frequently were hamas was sowed and whenever he began his homilies and when he was explaining his things 
the people used to pick up only these two phrases and they began to tease and mock Jeremiah. There is the man going, Hamas was so violence and destruction and look we are okay. So Jeremiah was a man torn in two. Am what I am preaching, is it God's message? Or have I to preach what Pashur and the king and the people want me to preach? So Jeremiah was a man completely broken and he asked God, now what should I do? Should I continue? And yet he says, I feel a fire in my bones and I cannot keep silent. So Jeremiah was wondering, speak or be silent? What does God want me to do? What is God's way forward? Many years ago, a young man, a very, very handsome, well-dressed man, walked into the hall in which I was hearing confessions together with other priests. And it was the fag end of the seasonal confessions. And looking at him, I must confess, I was wondering now, why has he come late? And what is going to be his confession? But the man had great sadness in his eyes. And then he began to talk about his life, saying, Father, my love of five years has ditched me. And I am completely broken. Jeremiah broken in the first reading. This man broken in the 21st century. And coming to express his brokenness before God. But as the man began to make his confession, he also came to realize that his brokenness was not the result of the woman whom he loved making a decision to break the relationship, but his own behavior through which he through many years, time and time again, was unfaithful and broke her heart. And she could take it no longer and said, now this is ended. And he pleaded with her and then he asked me, do you think there is any hope? What answer could I give? The answer was in his own life and in his own future. What did God want? What did he want? What was the way forward? Gradually the man had to learn that even though he was broken and the relationship could no longer be mended, God's way was to offer him a chance so that he could build his life again. Change from his waywardness, change from his thinking that he was, as he himself said, he thought he was God's gift to women. And so, he took advantage of them, he disregarded them, he was unfaithful to his own girlfriend over many years and finally she could take it no longer. And so he realized, if I want the way forward and a way future, it is to change my own way of thinking, my own behavior and the way I am living. And he began that journey. Today's second reading is a wonderful reading. It tells us in the letter of Paul in chapter 12, think of God's mercy, my brothers, and worship him. I beg you in a way that is worthy of thinking beings by offering your bodies to God as a living sacrifice. And then he goes on with those very important words. Do not model yourselves on the behavior of the world around you. But let your behavior change, modeled by your new mind. In other words, it is almost like God telling, uh, sorry, Paul telling his community, if you want a better life and if you want a changed life, change your mind and model on your, your behavior on the new mind. This is the only way to discover the will of God and know what is good. So when we ask ourselves, what is the way forward? What is the will of God? What am I going to do? 
the answer doesn't lie each day in god telling me do this do that no once i change and my mind puts on the mind of god rather than stays with the mind of the world or my own desires my own will my own way of thinking then something new will take place and this is the very message that god gives or rather jesus gives to peter in the gospel of today it is very significant that last sunday's gospel was about peter confessing you are the christ the son of the living god and jesus tells peter peter you are blessed because god has revealed this to you today one sunday later and in one passage later chapter 16 verses 21 to 27 of the gospel jesus does not tell peter you are blessed but he says get behind me satan why this change because though peter realized that jesus is the messiah and the son of god he had a completely wrong understanding of what that messiah and son of god entailed he thought that son of god and messiah meant victory glory and jesus is preparing him and his disciples very clearly as the gospel tells us jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to jerusalem going to jerusalem meant he is going to the place of his crucifixion not the place of his glory of his crucifixion and he was going to suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and the chief priests jesus knew clearly what was in store for him it was not glory but suffering and yet jesus willingly took that way discovering the way of god does mean does not mean thinking that what i want is what god wants peter wanted that the glorious way before him would be that jesus would become the messiah all the apostles and all would be leaders and they would share important places in the kingdom that is told to us in other passages of the gospel not only peter but james and john and the mother of james and john also had this impression of messiahship and son of god as if to say that meant glory and jesus tells them no the way to the glory of the messiah is the way through the cross and that is why attached to it is not only what jesus tells peter but what he tells his disciples for all time if you wish to be my disciple take up your cross and follow me in other words i must change my mind into thinking what is in store for me god wants this god wants that rather than thinking and presuming what god has in store for me i discover through the difficulty through the journey to jerusalem through the way of the cross what god wants and that is why jesus at the garden of gethsemane says father if it be your will take away this cup from me but not your will not my will but yours be done in other words we need to discover god's will and god's ways not according to the mentality of the world not through our own inner desires and plans but to search for the plan of god which is revealed to us gradually and through the people that god puts into our lives our spiritual directors our confessors our parents let us ask the lord today lord just as you helped jeremiah in his brokenness to discover your way and will in and through suffering just as you helped peter and the disciples 
to realize that messiahship was not glory but through redemptive suffering and just as you enlightened us through saint paul to change our minds to model our minds on you and your way of thinking not the way of the world help us to take up our cross daily and follow you and so to live out our lives based on the pattern that you yourself have given us amen Let us now stand and profess our faith in God by praying the I believe together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He went down to the dead. On the third day he rose again. Yes, he ascended heaven. into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, let us place all our petitions before our Heavenly Father. believing in our hearts that the lord shall provide all our needs our responses lord hear our prayer all together lord, lord hear our prayer for our pope bishops priests and religious that they may be inspired and strengthened to do god's work with zeal and enthusiasm let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. for all world leaders that they may work with integrity and compassion towards their citizens let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for the sick especially those affected by the corona virus that god in his infinite mercy and compassion may restore them to good health let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. for all of us gathered at this eucharist that we may offer ourselves as a living sacrifice to god and be always ready to do his will let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for our personal intentions and those of the community let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our prayer, prayer. Almighty God hear us in your infinite mercy and enrich us with your abundance we ask this through Christ our lord amen for the offertory we shall take hymn number 248 Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and offer to the Lord. Lift up your eyes and see the works of God. Lift up your heart unto the heart of God. Offer your love with his love to accord through your goodness lord we bring gifts of bread and wine which will soon be come for us life giving food and drink lift up your hands and offer to the lord lift up your eyes and see the works of god lift up your heart 
unto the heart of God. Offer your love with his love to a God. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord God, confer on us always the blessing of salvation. And may the graces we receive help us to truly discover your will and walk your way. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Saviour. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, Jesus humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We take the Eucharistic prayer for masses in various needs. The second one. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Savior of the world. Therefore, Holy Father, 
as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, confirm us, Lord, in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald Gracious, our Cardinal Archbishop, with all your bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our sisters and brothers, particularly those whose month's mind and first anniversary masses have been offered for today. My own elder cousin, June Rodericks, who passed away yesterday. My brother, Kenneth, who passed away 10 years ago on this day. And my mother, whose birthday it was. We remember these and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your Son. And in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the Saints, with them we shall praise and exalt you through Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but upon the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace, unity, and happiness in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. 
blessed are those who are called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed let us make an act of spiritual communion as we invite the lord into our hearts and into our souls my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen let us join in the communion hymn hymn number 187 i give my hands i give my hands to do your work and jesus lord i give them willingly i give my feet to go your way and every step i shall take cheerfully oh the joy of the lord is my strength my strength Oh the joy of the Lord is my help my help for the power of his spirit is in my heart and the joy of the Lord is my strength I give my mind in every way so that each thought i have will come from you i give my spirit to you lord and every day my prayer will spring anew oh the joy of the lord is my strength my strength oh the joy of the lord is my help my help for the power of his spirit is in my heart and the joy of the lord is my strength let us pray renewed by this bread from the heavenly table we beseech you lord that being the food of charity it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through christ our lord amen pray for protection against corona virus almighty and merciful god who show your love to all creation everywhere Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the corona virus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer to christ our lord amen kindly be seated for the announcement
the children's novena services in spiritual preparation for the feast of our lady's nativity will be streamed via the church youtube website at 5:30 pm daily from 30th august that is tomorrow till 8th september the themes will invite all of us to imitate our blessed mother's virtues as model disciple of jesus and queen of all creation the themes are as follows day 1 sunday that is tomorrow the theme will be mary most obedient day 2 31st august theme is mary most blessed day 3 1st september the theme is mary most sensitive day 4 day 4 2nd september the theme is mary most committed day 5 Third September, the theme is Mary Most Faithful. Day six, fourth September, the theme is Mary Most Humble. Day seven, fifth September, the theme is Mary Most Merciful. Day eight, sixth September, the theme is Mary Most Hopeful. Day ninth, Monday, seventh September, the theme is Mary Most Efficacious Mediator. On Tuesday, 8th September, the feast of the Nativity of Our Blessed Virgin Mary will also be observed as the Day of the Girl Child with a special mass at 5:30 p.m. End of the notices. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our concluding hymn will be hymn number one twenty-four. Follow me. Follow me, follow me. Live your home and family. Leave your fishing nets and boats upon the shore. Leave the seed that you have sown. Leave the crops that you have grown. Leave the people you have known and follow me. The foxes have their holes and the swallows have their nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lie down. I do not offer comfort. I do not offer wealth, but in me. Will all happiness be found? Follow me, follow me. Leave your home and family. Leave your fishing nets and boats upon the shore. Leave the seed that you have sown. Leave the crops that you have grown. Leave the people you have known and follow me. Have a pleasant evening and a good weekend, dear parishioners.